Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. So when we're looking at the T30 and the T40, the big question we get is efficiency. What is the efficiency advantage on the T40 over the T30? So if you're spraying large acreage, you want to cover more acres per day, then you want a drone that can do that faster. And really what it boils down to on efficiency with a sprayer drone, since you're gonna be doing multiple tank loads you know, per hour, then it's about doing more acres per tank and that your takeoff time, takeoff to takeoff, your cycle time on your tanks, doing that faster. So when we look at the T30 versus T40, we're gonna cover four main areas that make the T40 more efficient. That's gonna be tank size, flight speed, swath width, and then software is a big factor as well. Okay, so tank size is our first one. The tank on the T40 is 40 liters, or about 10 and a half gallons, as compared to 30 liters, or about eight gallons on the T30. So this one's obvious right here. Uh, it's not rocket science, you know, the bigger tank is gonna be more efficient. Now the next thing is gonna be flight speed. So flight speed on the T30 is capped at about 15 miles an hour or 23 feet per second max flight speed. And this is just due to safety essentially. Now with the radar being up here on the front of the drone on the T40, we can actually fly faster and still maintain our terrain following and our obstacle avoidance. So the T40 can actually fly 32.8 feet per second max flight speed or right around uh, 22 miles an hour. So that's almost a 30% increase in speed on the T40 over the T30. So that's tank size and speed. Now let's look at swath width. So these nozzles back here, the T40 only has two of these rotary style nozzles. So you may think, how do we get a wider swath width with those? Well, rotary style nozzles allow for a much more consistent and much more even pattern across a wider swath. So with the T30, we really rely on, you know, kind of that, um, that, that bell-shaped curve, essentially, so that tapering off uh, across that, that pattern and overlapping. Whereas in the T40, since we have much more consistent droplet sizes, and we're able to spin those droplets out and create a much more, um, you know, down pressure to create that vortex, then we're going to see a more consistent and a wider swath. So we're looking at uh, about 32 feet per second. It's kind of what we estimate at this point, uh, excuse me, 32 uh, feet wide swath width on the T40 as compared to about a 27 foot swath on the T30. And again, a more consistent pattern across that swath. So last thing when it comes to efficiency is software. So on the T40, if you watch our other video, you can see that just creating your fields is easier on the T40, meaning that it takes less time outside of actual operation to get to the point we're operating. And then during operation, there's a couple of uh, key features in the T40 software. And one is the smart return to breakpoint. So the breakpoint is where the drone stops spraying at. And that's where the drone has to go back to when spraying. Let's say you have a half mile long field. You're operating over here. You run out down here, you have a problem down here, something like that. On the T30, it, you would fly with a full tank from here back to the opposite end of that field. That's a long ways to fly with a full tank versus the T40 has a smart return to breakpoint feature. So if you run out down here and you have to take off from here, it'll actually spray its way down to the end point and then go over to the next route and come back. So that's gonna be quite a bit more efficient, especially in large fields. So what is the efficiency? Well, we're looking at likely around 40 acres per hour on like a half mile long square field uh, with the T40. Not that much more efficient than the T30 on the, in the, that scenario, and that's at a two gallon rate, mind you. So you can actually do a three gallon rate way more efficiently in, in that scenario, but a two gallon rate, not that much more efficient. Now, what happens whenever we don't have those square fields? Because likely when you're getting a drone, you don't have square fields across your entire farm. Maybe you have a couple. So if we have an odd shaped field, field centered by trees, a field that you have to fly a long ways to get to, things like that. That's where the T40 is really going to shine because we can utilize our entire tank volume. We can utilize that faster speed, that wider swath width to get more done per cycle and to get that cycle done faster. So with the T30, whenever we move from a large field to a smaller field, then we see our efficiency drop, you know, fairly significantly, you know, from a peak of around 35 acres an hour down to about a low of about 20 acres per hour in those smaller fields. Whereas the T40, we're gonna see that half mile long square field have an efficiency of about 40 acres an hour. And we're gonna see those smaller fields have an efficiency of not that much less because we can utilize that full tank volume there.
All right, I hope that explains a little bit about efficiency. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.